Okay, let's get to the latest on the coronavirus. D.C. reported 19 new cases today. That's the lowest number since March 22nd. The doubling time for cases has slowed by more than 30% in Maryland in just the last three days. In Virginia, the doubling has plateaued. That means it's taken longer for those cases, uh, those case numbers to double, meaning slower growth of the virus rather than a surge. All good news. Gio Insignares is here to answer some of your questions about the coronavirus and how it's affecting reopening plans. Hey, Gio. Hey, Bruce, a lot of people have reached out wondering when things will start to feel a little more normal and if there are certain things that can keep you safe against the virus. But let's first start with a question about testing. Specifically, where can I get an antibody test in D.C.? The answer is at the new COVID-19 antibody test site in Navy Yard, open Monday through Friday from 9 a.m. to 3. These are free tests to determine if you've previously had the virus. All you have to do is schedule an appointment by calling the number there at the bottom of your screen. That's 855-363-0333. But keep in mind, in order to register, you have to be at least six years old and be a D.C. resident. Next was a question from a viewer in Virginia saying their gym, Export Fitness, wasn't open yet. So bigger question, when will big box gyms reopen? We reached out to Export Fitness and a pre-recorded message said they were closed until further notice. As for other gyms in our area, well, that'll depend on the reopening guidelines in your state and county and whether business is ready to open. So we look through the phases of reopening in D.C., Maryland and Virginia. In Maryland, indoor gyms are allowed to open with restrictions in phase two, specifically starting this Friday, June 19th at 5 p.m. In Virginia, indoor gyms could start opening in their phase two, which started June 5th at 30% capacity with some other restrictions. And in the district, gyms and workout studios can start to reopen in their phase two with specific guidelines like five people per 1,000 square feet. Phase two in D.C., though, could start this Friday at the earliest, but the mayor hasn't confirmed a date for that yet. Ultimately, though, it's going to be a while before we see gyms across the DMV open the way we were used to before the coronavirus pandemic. Now let's answer two more questions about UV light and whether or not it can be a tool you can use against COVID-19. First, does a UV lamp really kill the coronavirus? Well, experts say certain UV light can kill bacteria and viruses, and it's often used to decontaminate airplanes and hospitals. But it's done with robots or without human exposure because it is dangerous. The World Health Organization points out that UV lamps should not be used to sterilize hands or other areas of skin as UV radiation can cause skin irritation. And second, does a UV wand really disinfect a cloth mask? Well, there's no conclusive research that says a UV wand can effectively disinfect a cloth mask. Instead, a washing machine should be enough to properly sterilize one, according to the CDC. Surgical masks, meanwhile, those are disposable and can't be washed. Additionally, don't use bleach, alcohol, or household cleaners to disinfect masks because we know ingesting or inhaling those chemicals can be very harmful. By the way, our Verify team investigated both of those last questions, see how they got their answers, and how they debunked other coronavirus myths by heading to our website, WUSA9.com. All you have to do is click the Verify link right at the top of the homepage. Bruce?